Hello and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Donna Rigney, Salt Spring, Florida. God will vindicate his. On May 25th, 2023, Father began to speak to me. My wrath is being seen as whistleblowers arise, as wicked deeds are exposed, as just judgments are brought forth. When you see the wicked fail or fall short in their plans, know that it is my hand intervening to bring a stop to their smugness. This is the hour where I am launching a strong defense on behalf of the innocent, those who have been reaping unjust judgments and punishments. They did not sow evil deeds to reap. I will wipe tears from their eyes who have endured persecution. I will wipe sweat from their brow of those who have labored for righteousness' sake, with tremendous opposition launched relentlessly against them. When I defend my children, I will do a great job. I will restore all that was stolen. And at the same time, I rebuild. I reward with lavish, extreme blessings. In the presence of their enemies, my children will rejoice and receive my best. As the Lord declared this word to me, I thought of Job, who endured tremendous sufferings, was misjudged by his friends and scorned. Soon his season of suffering ended. God defended him, increased his wealth double, restored all that he had lost, and where he had once been shamed, God brought him great honor. Again, as I sat before the Lord on May 31st, 2023, he spoke a very serious word to me. Darkness is coming. Much trouble is coming to this world. In the days ahead, you will see those who followed the evil one wring their hands and gnash their teeth as insurmountable trouble falls on them and theirs. Yes, they will reap the fruit of their evil labors, because there are so many who have left my path and have followed these leaders of unrighteousness, it will bring much suffering. But at the same time, those few who consistently followed me will remain sheltered under my wings. They will only observe with their eyes the punishment of the wicked. Seeing this worldwide suffering will be made bearable as my children rest in my arms, safe and secure. The innocent will not be drawn into it, but will be unscathed. When darkness falls, it will not affect my children because they truly have the light of the world living in and through them. My angelic host have been released to guard, support, and guide them. They will not even stub their toes on a stone. See Psalm 23, 5, Psalm 91, 8, and 14, and Psalm 91 in its entirety. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this encouragement, Lord. What an encouraging word, Father. We consistently need this reminder that you will vindicate us. Lord, I repent for the times that I've tried to speak on your behalf, that I've tried to argue or defend or, or, or work it out in the natural, Father. Lord, I thank you that you give us the wisdom and the strategy. Oh, Lord, that I would follow you instead of following my own flesh, that I would follow you instead of my own flawed logic and wisdom. Lord, your wisdom is so much bigger. Your thoughts are so much beyond our thoughts. Friend, I just had this picture of these moments that when we get to the other side, when we get into heaven, these moments of, of gasping, I just had this, this image of me walking around going, oh, wow, wow, thinking through everything that, that God is sharing, seeing all things working together, understanding why we went through certain seasons and, and where God kept us safe from others. It's going to be a glorious, glorious time. Father, can you pull a little bit of that into our today? Let us see a little bit of it in the land of the living, as our sister Donna says. Father, that we would, that we would be saved from the darkness coming, that we would be shown as the city set on a hill, Father, and that we would rejoice because we will see your best. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.